Ooh, hello, welcome to Favorite Things. Alright, so this is going to be my, my favorite TV shows from the 60s, and maybe other 50s as well. But 60s, when I think of the 60s, famous shows, when I look back, I wasn't around in the 60s because I was born in the 70s, so, um, but I used to watch a lot of these shows on syndication or whatever, so, uh, but these are shows that are great because I've seen them in reruns, syndication, or DVD, or whatever, but um, this is going to be like, you know, just off the top of my head, but good, great TV shows, okay, Perry Mason, that's a great TV show. Whenever it's on, I watch it. It's very compelling. I mean, the original black and white episodes are great. Another good show, The Fugitive. You know, the movie, there was a movie in the 90s, but the original TV show, we should watch it. It's great. Great TV show. It's a, one of those Quinn Martin production TV shows. With David Jansen. He's great in there. It's so good. It's like this, you know, it's like most of these TV shows have this kind of heroic kind of tough the guy, but he's just kind of normal guy, you know what I mean? He's he, sometimes he has this twitch on his face, and he just kind of seems nervous. It's just great. He just does it perfectly, you know. He like goes from town to town, trying to find out the one armed man. It's great TV show. Let me know. I killed his wife. Um, Bobby and hunted by this other guy, Barry Morse from Space 1999. So, um, yeah, but yeah, and he's great in there too. So it's great. You know, it's great when he how he can interact with people, people, he's very likable, so people always want to protect him, and, you know, they find out who he is, and they still want to protect the guy, because they know he's innocent, because they can feel him, but, you know, we all know he's, he's innocent, so, it's, you know, well, great show, any, any Quinn Martin show is great, you know, you know. but, uh, what else, what's, what's all great, what's all great, what's all great, what's all great? Uh, you know, there's a lot of good shows that I've never seen but I've heard of because they never shot in certain syndication, so I want to see some of those too. But let's see what else is really good. Uh, and I'm thinking, oh yeah, let's go to Westerns. Gunsmoke, that's, that's a great, great TV series. It's just kind of compelling, it's good. And Rawhide, great, another another great series. I can watch it at any time, it's always good. Um, a lot of good Westerns, the, the Rifleman. Right. Sam Peckinpah, I think he was one of the, like, the original writers on that show. And uh, probably directed too. He wrote and directed the movie there. But um, who else? Um, I've Gone World Travel, that's another great show. You know, a paladin. He's a very smart, uh, gun for hire type of guy. Went to West Point. Rather not use his gun, but he'll, but he asked, if he asked you, he will. It's great. Series. Oh, uh, what else is great? Mission Impossible. That was a good series. But we all know it. it's kind of legendary. It's kind of the obvious. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to go off the top of my head. But I don't know. I'm missing a lot of good shows. Um, 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 uh, uh. But a lot, of, like I said, anything produced by Quinn Martin. Like Barnaby Jones, that was from Martin Cannon. The Invaders, that's another little gem that I discovered on Netflix. If you watch the whole series on there, that's uh, kind of like the X Files. It's a good series. With Roy, Th- Roy Thinnis, he plays this guy who witnesses uh, aliens landing while he's taking a nap, while he's on his little travel. He's like a, cont- you know, it's like a traveling. Architect, he was traveling to, uh, I don't know, just, I would say traveling salesman, but no, he was traveling somewhere to uh, go to a meeting or something. It was in a different town. He was, and he stopped to take a nap on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere, and then suddenly he wakes up to see this great light, and it's probably it's a UFO of a landing, and he's like, what the? And they try to convince everybody that there's aliens that are going to take over the planet, kind of like Mulder, you know? yeah. And, and the interesting thing is, Roy, within this was actually on the X Files. So. So maybe that uh, Chris Carter he was probably influenced by that show a little bit. And yeah, I really thought of Roy Thinnis to be in. It would be cool if Roy Thinnis played the same character, you know, David Jen. Now what was the I think David David Vincent, that's the crowd character he played. It would, that would have been cool, but he played like a different character. But um, some guy with like an alien hybrid 
on the on the X Files. So we had like power and Booker Hill. I forgot his character's name now, but yeah. I can't break out build kind of name. Ah, okay, what else? This is good from the 60s and the 50s. Oh, The Rebel. That's a good show. That's a show I discovered. This is Western. About this guy who was a southern a soldier who fought for the South. You know, and he's not a bad guy. And you find out, you know, it's kind of like, okay, he fought for the South because he's from the South, but now he's like kind of drifting from town to town and he wants to be a writer, you know. But he still kind of wears the southern kind of hat and stuff so people know he was a son so you know sometimes he runs into like Yankees and they kind of don't treat him well but he wants to be this writer and so he's like running around and he helps people well it's actually a really good show it was a lot of the episodes were directed by um, Irvin Kirshner who was a uh, who directed probably the best Star Wars movie ever um Empire Strikes Back. He directed, and but he got his start on this show called the the Rebel. I was talking about, and he directed like all that stuff. And and you can see why Empire Strikes Back is so good. It's because Irvin Krishna is very good at directing action and drama, you know. And he did that with Empire Strikes Back and this show, The Rebel. He only did it with all those. He, I mean, he directed most of those episodes so, on the on the Rebel, and it's great. It's a great series. It's a great series. You know, good good mix of drama. And, uh, and action it's very good he's a brilliant guy but um yeah so you got that what else the rebel um one the dead or alive that's a good series that's uh and that whole series i bought it for like seven bucks on amazon it's that um steam mcqueen series and it's great and if you have a you like 10 bucks you can probably get it for like it's like almost like 100 episodes you know and it's pretty they kind of, you know, clean, cleaned it up. Some of the episodes look good, you know, so. but that's a series you want to check out. It's like how, how you guys start. Probably, I think he did the the blob like before he did this, so it's kind of like his first TV show now. See, I think McQueen did some movies, and then he did the TV show for like, CBS for like two or three years, and then he went on to do that. Mm-hmm. Then he did like The Great Escape and all that stuff. So, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, what else? Uh, of course, Alfred Hitchcock presents Alfred Hitchcock Hour and the Outer Limits, the original one, the Twilight Zone, of course. Thriller. Boris Call presents Thriller. That was a that was a good series, especially season season one. There was some crazy good episodes on that. And it was uh, a couple, and Shatner was in a couple. Shatner was in probably the two two of the best. And there was one, there was one called uh, about this mirror. And then the other one called the Grim Reaper, where this is Grim Reaper, you know, the Grim Reaper in the study, and yeah, it's just you, you gotta see it. Just watch the series, cold thriller. Boris Karloff presents thriller. Oh, it's good. It's a good kind of anthology series. I like this kind of old anthology series. You know, yeah, kind of, kind of with different episodes, different things. Yeah, what else? See, it's like now, now the more I think about it, the more I can like remember all these shows. You know? There's a lot that I'm forgetting. Uh, it's well, it's well, it's well, it's well. Uh, well, I don't know. Um, of course, that classic like Bonanza. That's that. That was a great series. I can always watch that. That was good. Uh, 